Hey guys, today is my first day on YouTube and I'm going to be reviewing my shark vacuum. Um, I got this one for Christmas and I think it's pretty good. Um, it comes with about three tools and you can buy an extra tool kit for it too. And I've already actually assembled this, obviously. Although... I think it's pretty powerful, although so there are pros and cons about this. I'll start with the cons. So this brush roll gets very dirty and then very hard to clean all the time. So it'll hurt your fingers too sometimes, leave big marks on your fingers. Um, behind this roller there's a big black strip and that dirt keeps getting gathered on it. and makes it hard so then you have to clean it all the time third thing is the filters keep getting very dirty and i only literally cleaned them filters two days ago the bins are already dirty and i washed that two days ago too with the shroud bit and that soft roller so the the cons now now the pros the pros are i like the flexology so say under my bed um this could easily get under there um because this is nice and slim down it's like kind of flat ish so it can easily fit under my bed although this bit kind of gets stuck a bit so I'll just push that under and then i can really just push it under and then it's under um, it does have a belt though, which you might need to replace if the brush roll stops spinning. Well, I think it has a belt because I've seen videos and people take them apart and see belts inside, so a belt must be in there too. I like also the way that this it is like nice and small, like you can just move it. And it becomes small. You just move this top bit by pressing this grey button. And then it just moves all the way over. So then it's nice and small. It's got a 10 metre cord. Which is very tiring to wrap up. So I like cordless a bit more. Although I'm not a big fan of Shark. I'm really most of a fan of Dyson. Um, so... I'd rate this vacuum anyway, probably out of 10, I would rate this an 8. Um, it comes with three tools. You can buy um, a tool kit, I don't know if I've said that already. It comes with a soft dusting brush, um, a motorised pet tool. And a long crevice tool. And they all have shark on it. Shark. Shark. Somewhere on this. Shark. And also. Shark. It, it basically has shark everywhere. Because it's also got shark there too. So. Shark. Motorized pet tool. Model. Is. HV390 UKT 26 220 to 240 volts 50 or 60 heads I don't know what that one is and this motorized pet tool is 30 watt motor so it's good um oh i know another con for this too the back of there gets very dirty all the time it's covered in dust all the time the reason it's a bit clean now is because i clean before the video actually um so my sister is in no it's in um the bedroom say hi hi um but anyway I'm gonna. I was about to turn around then. 
Although I just need to move all these tools quickly. Because I might knock these tools and break them and I don't want that. My iPad cover is literally all the way over there because I took it off before I started the video. You just press that grey button and it becomes nice and big. Because you just pull that grey handle up and then it's a big upright vacuum. So now let's use it on carpets. Set in two is thick pile carpets. Set in one is hard floors or rugs. So let's have a go. And also before we do do it, set in one is probably for a short pile of rugs. Although we have a very, very long pile rug down the stairs, so we use thick pile carpet. Set on one now. Oh, set in two. Um, I've also forgot to say that this light turns green when it's first on, and so it gets jammed then it will turn red and the brush runs would stop working so what you have to do then is turn off the whole machine and turn it back on again and then that's basically it and then it starts spinning again so that's good you've got a bit of access to the brush roll you just slide this back and then slide this one back and then i don't know if you just seen but this popped up a bit I got the brush roll, two actually, um, so this one you just put it, put your finger inside there, might not be able to do it, oh well, can't do it, I'll do it in the maintenance video, I'm going to do all this later, um, the dust cup is actually easy to do too, I'll do that in the maintenance video too, another couple cons are This hose can rip over time. So that's another con. And the other con is, which will probably happen to every one of them, dirt will get stuck onto the wheel and you can't get it off. So you need to use like a scrubber or your nail, which you'll get your nail very dirty and you'll have to wash your nail. With soap though, because of this new virus, the coronavirus, which is very bad, we can't even go out and this is not my only vacuum I've got a couple other vacuums too I've got a Vax Corda Slim Vac Pet which is one that I got given um, after or maybe it was on the Friday before f school's finished for half term I'm not sure when it was although I got given it it's a good hoover and then I've also got the Dyson DC40 animal, which I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video of stripping down my whole hoover and cleaning every part of it because I think it makes a weird noise when you turn it off, and also the motor is so loud. It's louder than probably. I can't really tell properly as loud as a huge TV with. Lots of speakers on full volume. It's probably as loud as that. Um, so it's very really noisy, my Dyson. And I've got a tiny Black & Decker Dustbuster vacuum, which is alright. And then I've got my Shark right here. Um, it's only got a one-speed motor. And this particular vacuum, I think... Oh, I think it's got about a uh, 400-500 watt motor. I'll just check now. Because when you remove the bin, it normally shows you there. Um, 
450 watts. It might be upside down for you. It's because my iPad does that. Because I'm filming it on my iPad. <laughs> um. So. I'll give you another video of my shark thing, thing on. And then I'm going to go. So I just moved it up. I just pull it down. And let's turn it on once more. Oh, I'm going to do the flexology this time. The big grey button on the back to press and there's flexology. And it only really works on hard floors to flexology because then you've got to push it with your knee and pull it back. So that's bad. Now to do the flexology. So there we go. Oh, I'll just do a quick thing on hard floors too. You can see the brush all spinning. So it's got a two speed um, motor head, which is very good. On um, lots of surfaces. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up now and then wrap up this shark vacuum and probably put it back down in the cupboard so you're gonna be saying goodbye to the shark vacuum now um and you'll see it soon bye say bye